Are you trying to automatically refresh a Power BI semantic model after successful refresh of a data flow? Then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a sequential order. First of all, there are two ways how you can do it. You can use Power Automate, or if you have access to Microsoft Fabric, you can now use Data Pipeline. And that's a next level data orchestration tool. So let's have a look at the data pipeline refresh example. So I have a three data flows that I need to refresh in a sequential um, order. And after I do that, I need to refresh my semantic model in place report. So let's have a look how I can do that with data pipeline. So first I need to create a data pipeline. Now, for, to automate data orchestration, uh, use pipeline activity. So let's start with a blank canvas. Let's click that. First, I'm going to start with the data flow because that's first what I would like to refresh. And here I'm going to go to settings, select the workspace and select my staging first data flow. Now I need to select next data flow that I would like to refresh. Let's go back here and select dimensions. Now I need to connect them. As you can see here, you can select on success, on failure, on a completion or on skip. So I'm gonna select on success, refresh this next data flow and I'll just name it accordingly, employees dimensions. Now, next again, I'm gonna add a new data flow. And next is going to be effect table that I'm creating by using employees staging data flow and employees dimension data flow. And here I need to refresh it right after dimensions data flow has finished its refresh. And again, let's call it employees fact. And finally, after that, I need to add semantic model. And currently it's in a preview, but I have tested it and it works perfectly. Here you would need to create a connection. I already have it, so I'm just gonna reuse that. You're selecting a workspace, you're selecting the semantic model. And when you create select semantic model, it would actually ask what tables you would like to refresh. That means that you can actually refresh just a single table. Um, you don't have to refresh everything. But in my case, I will select everything. So what other new tables are added, I, will, I also would like them to be refreshed as well. So I'm gonna select that. And again, on a success, refresh my semantic model. And there it is, the pipeline is ready. So now I just need to test it and then we're gonna hit run and then we're gonna schedule the refresh. Excellent. Everything has been refreshed. It has been tested. Now we can schedule the refresh. We can schedule it by minute, hours, daily, weekly, etc. So I'm just going to select by hour and let's say I want to refresh it every three hours. I'm going to select start date. I'm going to select end date. Apply and it's done. If you go back to your, your workspace, you will now see that a data pipeline is created in the workspace. What do you guys think? 
Do you think this is a better tool than Power Automate to orchestrate data refresh? I think it is.